Huck C doing a little amateur psychiatry there, analyzing his old buddy, Phil Helmuth. And his old buddy checking in on 9-5 off suit as the blinds have increased to 6 and 1,200. And Huck Seed with pocket 10s. He raises to 3,700. Wow, Phil must still be a little bit on tilt here. He usually doesn't play junk hands like this. 9-5 off suit. Flop comes 7-jack-7. Seven, seven. Seed checks. And now Phil bets out 2,000. Trying to win the pot right here, taking a little stab at it. And Huck calls. That should tell Phil that Huck has something. Turns a nine of hearts. Phil's made a pair. Huck checks, and Phil bets 4,000. He's trying to see if his nines are the best hand. Huck calls. Phil can't be too secure about this. Rivers a three of spades. Huck quickly checks. And Phil bets 3,000. I don't know why he bet such a small amount or why he bet at all. Huck called, of course, and takes down the pot. It was a very foolish bet on Phil's part. This is such a freaking joke. And the Helmuth Act is on. This is so cold, brother. That invisible guy is back in town, and Phil's talking to him. 15 times pots more than I did. Bat out all those flops. Finally, I hit a nine. He's got frickin' pounds. The only hand I'm worried about in the whole frickin' joint. I mean, how does he get away with this? Man, that guy takes a lot of abuse. Now I'm taking flops with him. He's not gonna get away with running me over. Raise it. I know he doesn't have jack speed. Got to have freaking tens is the only hand he can beat me with. You're lucky I didn't raise you twenty thousand, Phil. You probably would have called it. You raise me twenty thousand with a jack on board. No, you I not, you probably won't win this match. I, I knew I had to beat. How about that? I should have raised you. Uh, why wouldn't I? More lessons on poker decorum with Phil Helmuth as we continue right after this. Welcome back to the Golden Nugget Hotel and Casino. At our three outer tables, the voice of the World Poker Tour, Mike Sexton, has a big lead over Hassan Habib. But we've seen Habib mount big comebacks before. Back in the round of 32, he was just about done and came all the way back to defeat Sammy Farha. Matt, what seems like an insurmountable lead in heads up really never is because a couple of double ups and you're right back in the game. And as we get you to Sexton versus Habib, Hassan Habib is standing. He's concerned because he's raised all in, and Mike Sexton with a 2-1 to one chip advantage has called. Mike Sexton has made a great call here. Hassan Habib has raised up to 62,000, and Mike Sexton called with ace high. Great call. Flop comes Jack Deuce ace. Mike Sexton pairs his aces. Right, and now Hassan Habib is in terrible shape. He's going to need two running cards to win this pot. Turn is a queen of clubs. Well, that's one of them. Now Hassan Habib can win with a 10. A 10 would make him a straight. But the river brings a king of spades. Mike Sexton advances. No big comeback story for Hassan Habib this time as Mike Sexton advances to the round of eight. Brother Tom sharing in the celebration. Lindsay's with the winner. Mike Sexton, congratulations. With all your success, it starts to feel like maybe you're auditioning for a hosting job with NBC. What do you think? Uh, <laughs> no, um, I'm, uh, I'm ecstatic right now. It was a very, very tough match I just played against Hassan. Really was a dogfight. You know, he had me way down. I came back and uh, won the match, but it was tough, boy, I'll tell you. In all seriousness, though, do you think that your announcing helps you because you're able to see the whole cards with any of the experiences that you have doing that job? I really do think being able to watch every hand on the World Poker Tour like I've seen for the last three years has helped me become a better player, no question about it. In what ways? Well, in that I see what players are doing and I know what the great players do to win these pots. And, you know, I've learned to become more aggressive myself by watching these great players. And it's helped me a lot. I'm now a better player than I was. Even though I don't get to play much, that's why this is such a treat for me to be here. Well, he sure has played great, Matt. Maybe I should watch what's going on here. Back to the feature table now. And when you see Phil Helmuth, that's when a poker match becomes a personal battle. 
I faced Min the Master to win, who has six world championships in the first round, and uh, beat him. And then I beat Paul Phillips in the second round, and they both played really well. I think he's going to come out fast playing a lot of hands. That might not be the best way to play me. I keep thinking that everyone's going to try to play fast against me and run me over. I'll just sit back and let them do all the betting and raising. I think that's a good plan, Matt. Sit back, wait, let them do the betting and raising, and talk to the invisible man in the corner. <laughs> Blinds at 1,500 and 3,000. And Phil calls with his deuces. Huck checks with offsuit Jack Trey. And look at this huge flop. Deuce Jack 3. This match could be over right here, Matt. Phil has flopped a set of deuces, and Huck has top two pair. This could be it. Huck checked. Helmuth bets 3,000. And now Seed has raised to 14,000. Now, Phil does not know that Huck has top two pair. Phil is thinking, well, maybe he has a flush draw. Maybe I should wait one card. Make sure a spade doesn't come off. What does this man have? Could he have four or five? I got to tell you, Matt, that most players in Phil's situation would go all in right now. Helmuth calls. He is playing conservative. Turn is a king of spades. Now, Huck would have made a flush if he did have two spades. Huck checks. Helmuth checks. Phil's afraid of the flush. Rivers a seven of spades. Helmuth makes a flush. Yeah, but Huck could win the pot if he bet here. Check. He checks. Helmuth checks. And Phil will win the pot. God dang. Oh, Spade killed it. I had him broke. You had me broke for sure. If the spade, the spade didn't come on the turn. Spade didn't come on the turn. It's over. Phil's conservative play backfired here. He won the pot, but he could have won the match. More from our feature table when we return to the Nugget right after this. Welcome back to the Golden Nugget Hotel and Casino. We're watching round 16 action at the National Heads Up Poker Championship. And for more information on the tournament, the players, and television schedule, log on to headsuppokerchamp.com. We take you to one of our outer tables now where John Jawanda has Barry Greenstein in big trouble. Yeah, Barry's all in for 25,200. Barry's got aces and fours, but John Jawanda's got aces and kings. Barry's going to need a four on the river, otherwise he's going to be eliminated. River brings a three of clubs. John Jawanda advances from this match to the round of eight. Barry started out with a brilliant play, but hit a dry spell after that. Back to the featured table now, where Huck Seed has a slight lead over Phil Helmuth and Gabe. This match has been going on for some time. The blinds all the way up to six and twelve thousand. Considering that they started out with eighty thousand each, that's very big. Come on, man. And Huck moves all in on Queen Eight. Not a bad play. He's trying to pick up that eighteen thousand in the pot. Amberbach pocket cam reveals a strong hand for Phil Helmuth, Ace Ten, and he quickly calls. And Huck got caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Huck's been doing a lot of this, and this time he got caught. Now, believe it or not, this is the first time not only in the match, but in the entire tournament that Phil Helmuth has gone all-in covered. 